all right what's up taurus gang this is gonna be a warning for the sign of taurus um i want to say really quick before i jump into the reading um thank you guys for all your love and support always uh, you guys are amazing honestly um please like comment and subscribe I'm gonna be doing another giveaway. I have so many decks, you guys, that I never use. Like this is this is my first deck I ever had. I got this um, ten years ago. Okay, there's some cards that are messed up, but this one I will never give away, obviously. But there's so many decks that I go to, and I'm like, eh, I don't like that. So I'm gonna be doing another giveaway soon. Okay, probably when we hit five thousand subscribers. So comment and like. All right. Also, thank you to everyone who's been getting personal readings. You guys are so dope. Oh, my God. I love doing personal readings. So check the description box below for any of that information. OK. All right. So, Taurus, I was getting the message for you, right, that um you're learning right now. All right, I don't know who this message is going to be for, but um, obviously it's a general reading, so all of it won't fit for everyone. So, you know, always go to your guides and make sure that the information you're getting here is for you, right? You have to be intuitive to watch these messages, okay? But anywho, um, I was getting the message that you guys are learning something about fixing something. There's something that um, you've been trying to fix for a long time. I'm seeing you like, I've seen like a plumber and he's like fixing something like under the sink over and over and over again. Shit keeps linking. It keeps messing up. You know, something you, you, you've been trying to fix something. I feel like this is a relationship, though. Um, it could be something, you know, with work. But all right. Yeah. Ten of cups popping out. This could be with your family, your family relationship, how to fix your happiness, how to make yourself happy, how to find happiness in your family life something with relationships okay yeah empress here wow beautiful this could be with your mother all right but some something that's very confusing here okay seven of swords it's like you don't know if this person is um you know trying to yeah five of cups here so there's a lot of confusion behind this empress card here but um there's something that you've been trying to fix okay and the message is that you don't need to fix anything once you find out that you don't need to fix anything, that's when everything works out perfectly, okay? So, um, yeah, you're the empress, okay? You are the empress. There's no need to fix and um, try to make something happen. The empress just sits back and it just happens, okay? Things kind of work out in her favor when she's not, when she's working in her divine feminine energy, okay? There you are again. Yeah, and all the problems will leave is what I'm getting. I feel like this is you and every and this is you sitting in your power. And these are all the energies that's just moving right along because it's like the grass. <laughs> okay. I said the I was gonna say the grass is cutting itself. Yeah, so it's like once you sit back in this energy, this the um this, the problems begin to go away on their own. Okay, or um you know something is working at working itself out on its own it's like it's like you sit back and you chill and all the snakes begin to show themselves without you even trying to figure it out all right so let's see what the message is it may be in you know pertaining to that it may not so what's the message um god for the sign of taurus what do they need to know wow all right so we're gonna put this back i'm just gonna take the page of cups here let me see if i can get you guys to see the cards a little bit more all right, I can't turn them the other way because it just confuses me. So, here we go, all right? So, yeah, Page of Cups. Hold on, let me deal with my dog. So, yeah, okay, so Page of Cups here, right? So, some type of offer coming in or some type of, yeah, this offer that you're kind of fighting here maybe, but um, there is an offer, maybe an apology that's coming in here with the Page of Cups. But it is just a page, okay? So it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? So there's somebody coming in here, maybe that you've blocked. Um, but I feel like there could be somebody that you have blocked that you are, that is trying to come in here to offer you some type of something, some type of um, apology here, okay? What's this? What's this? 
What's the message here for Taurus? All right, is everything centered? I don't know. Okay, turn it down a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, there's this, this offer here, okay? This also could be, you know, like I said, you know, everything kind of working out once you stop to try to fix something. So this could be a, a, some type of new inspired, you, you have some new inspiration here, something new. It's like a, a something is fresh. Yeah, seven of pentacles here. Okay, so here you are kind of looking at your account, looking at your bank, or looking at something that's kind of moving slower than you um, would expect it to, okay? The tower is here. Yeah, there's two of pinnacles, so it's like something is here towards that you are, that, that has been slow to move, but I feel like there is some type of new inspiration here, yeah. So there's something that you, you know, kind of have been looking at or thinking about doing or thinking about it, but you haven't taken any action. I feel like some type of action is coming in here. All right, so what else? All right. Wow, look at that. The Tower and the Queen of Pentacles, there you are. So now you go from the Seven, okay, to the, and the Tower happens, and then you go to the Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So something is definitely coming in here where you're, you're leveling up. You're going from the Seven to the Queen, okay? So there's some type of, um, yeah, another page. This new information that's coming in, this new inspiration that is happening. But I'm understanding that this is all happening because there's something that you are no longer trying to fix. Okay, there's something. Yes, you see what I'm saying? You see? Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups, this newfound create, creative inspiration here that's going to take you to the Nine of Pentacles. This new, um, this new level of independence or this new level of abundance that you have created mm -hmm. yeah you've been waiting for this new inspiration let's look at the page of cups for taurus well seven page of cups here what's this page of cups about for taurus all right the fool and the strength exactly you're getting the strength here to you know take this new beginning this new chance with the full card you're jumping you gain some type of um confidence is what i'm hearing with this strength card you gained your confidence and now you're going to be just leaping you're going to be just jumping going for it yes ace of wands there's so much inspiration here something has happened that has struck your inspiration okay yeah wow yeah because before you know you jump you, you took the leap with the page of wands here you knew it was something that you wanted but it seemed like maybe it was too hard so you have the ten of wands here it seemed like it was too heavy too much responsibility too much on you it was too much stress so you drop it all for this one wand here that's going to um bring in some type of new creative endeavor wow really really cool okay so let's look at the seven of pentacles why were you just you know, kind of just sitting here, just, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like molding over it, but I, I don't feel like that's the right word. Okay, so you're just kind of just sitting here just looking over this. You're not taking any action. Seven of Pentacles. There's something that you need in order to get to the eight, which is this inspiration that came in. <laughs> the devil, okay? Yeah, it could have been too much drinking, too much partying, too much, I don't know, smoking, too much anything, but something was toxic here. And I feel like this is what you were trying to fix, okay? That um, that uh, feeling where you needed to fix something, where you needed to be the, fi the, the fixer-upper or whatever is what I'm getting, like... There was something that was toxic here that you were you were doing that was blocking this creativity from coming from coming in. Yeah, seven of cups again. That confusion. Okay, it could have been a Scorpio. This is Scorpionic energy. Scorpio season. Okay, as well. But there's something here. Yeah, like I said, in the family or your happiness. There's confusion here that was blocking you or too many options. You didn't know what to go for okay we have the ten of cups wanting to flip out again so yeah i'm definitely seeing some type of toxic energy and um that's blocking you from your happiness or somebody trying to control your happiness or something like that yeah with this could have been a capricorn okay with the four pinnacles showing up and the devil card here <clears throat> 
but there's some type of clarity here when it comes to the things that you love the things that you want you're voicing it you're standing up you're voicing you know what it is that you really want what you too truly feel um what you truly feel is is your passion or something okay so Something here was blocking you from moving forward with the devil and the uh, four pinnacles. It was holding on tight to your happiness, okay? But with this full card, you've moved on. All right, so let's look at the tower. How did all of this fall out? How did this end, all right? I see the um, ten of swords wanting to show itself. What was the tower? Yeah, five of cups with the two of swords. So, um... So it's like I'm I'm hearing like I'm tired of feeling this way. I'm tired of feeling sad and depressed about something that's in the past, something that's old. You you just don't want it anymore. With the towers all coming crashing down with the two of swords, you could be dealing with the Libra, but with the two of swords, this is like, you know, you just feel nonchalant about it. You're not you you don't want to be in this anymore. Your your eyes are closed to it 11/11. Your eyes are closed to it. You just don't, you, you're just over. You're nonchalant. You don't care anymore. So the tower allows you, you're not fixing it anymore. Okay. Yeah. Four of wands. You're deciding to be happy. You're graduating from this. Yeah. Intuitively, you know. All right. You could be just leaving something and paying attention to your, to your home. But with the tower card, it's just like... It happens very suddenly here. Let's get some more on this tower. Yeah, the four swords popped out earlier, we saw, okay? So, like I said, you're nonchalant. You don't care anymore. You're just not going to focus on this sadness anymore. Somebody is literally giving up anything that makes them sad. It's like, no. You're resting. You're allowing yourself to rest, like I said, with that Empress energy. King of Swords, your work, you you just know this with that high priestess showing up. Yeah, it's like the King of Swords, he uses his intelligence, okay? Mental clarity here. Like I said, could be dealing with the Libran, but I just feel like there's a lot of, you know, you're using your 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 um your mind. You're just using your mind. You just know, you know, you're not you're not in your cups anymore. You're not in your um emotions, okay? So the tower is just using the tower is Queen of Swords. Yeah. You've cut out any of this. The tower is you cutting out anything that makes you feel sad, period. All right. So let's get into this. Um, all right. What's this? The Eight of Swords. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to put it back. But let's just see. The Eight of Swords. Yeah. You've looked at with the Two of Wands here. You've looked at what has been keeping you trapped. Okay. Somebody's looking at what has been keeping them trapped. They're making a right decision about it. They're deciding, okay, if this is keeping me trapped, I obviously have to let it go. All right. With the hermit card here, this could be your guys, your ancestors, your angels, you know, kind of watching over you while you're making this decision or guiding you to make this decision. Okay. Um, but with the uh, um, also, you're kind of just going within here. You're just going within. I don't think you're speaking to anybody else about it. All right, with the Two of Cups, yeah, like I said, this could be a, a guide, okay? Two of Cups, that's a, an energy, whether it's here or not. This is just a soul connection that's helping you make these decisions. So I feel like that wanted to make itself known. All right, and then we have the Hierophant here. So let's look at the Queen of Pentacles, even though with the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles, we know this is you coming into your divine um, um, evolution is what I'm hearing, okay? So what's the Queen of Pentacles? Why is she here? So what happens at the end of this, Taurus? <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. What is this message for Taurus? Eight of Cups, you've walked away. You know, you're walking towards the Nine of Cups, which is your wish fulfillment. Yeah, like I said, you're walking into whether this is your home, you're worried about your home, whether this is a true divine soul connection, you're worried about your, your marriage, your soul connection. That's the only thing you're going to be, you know, paying attention to here. Or whatever this is, it makes you happy within the home. All right. So, yeah. What else here for the Queen of Pentacles? The Chariot. What did I say? The home. You got. You guys know that this is my home card. Fourth house energy. All right. Cancer. 
heart chakra energy. You're walking towards whatever makes you happy. And I heard you're not walking, you're running. Okay, so you're literally running towards. <laughs> and the eight of wands, yes. You are, yeah, you see? This is what you're walking into. You're, you're running into the emperor mode. You're taking absolute control, all right? And people are going to be watching. You're, you're setting a good um, example is what I'm hearing, okay? So, yeah, period, point blank, all right? So, let's get um one of these uh, wild unknown oracles for this reading. They're so big. All right, so I usually just cut them in half, all right? And then... um. Kind of feel which end gives me intuit knowledge. Okay, let's see. One card for Taurus, please. What do they need to know? What's this? Whoa. What is this energy? Uh -oh, that didn't feel right. Okay. Ooh, the forest. The forest. Wow, look at all those shots. Look at that. Be look at those beautiful colors. It's the rainbow here. All right. If you guys watch Astro Queen, you know all about these rainbows. You know what she's been talking about with the rainbows. A rainbow is when you see a rainbow, it's a promise being fulfilled. All right. So you guys may have been, um, you know, meditating or asking, uh, uh, praying about something. I feel like this energy is being fulfilled. That's that tower energy, right? You being able, you having the strength to cut something out here. I feel like there's a promise that, you know, this happiness is going to be coming back to you. All right. Don't trip. Don't worry. All right. The forest. Also, I'm seeing, I'm hearing that. What is that word? It's like, um, you can't see the forest for the trees or something like that. So it's like, you can't see your happiness for all the people that's in their way. You can't see what, what's, what, what's, you can't see your true divine happiness for all the distractions that are in your way. So, you know, you trying to fix all these people, all these situations. I feel like that's a thing of the past. All right. There's also this green crystal here again with that heart chakra. This is green here. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is an awakening, um, an awakening card. Anima Mundi. Wow. This is beautiful. I feel like I need to read this, okay? So, I don't even know where the cards are, but I don't feel like going to get it. So, yeah, Anima Mundi. So, these are all, this is some type of an awakening card, all right? The forest, this is a place. They have, like, these different sets of cards, right? So, the forest is a place, but this is an awakening, and there's only, like, five of them or six or something, but um, I'm seeing a massive awakening. I'm being drawn to the Pluto sign here. But you have Pluto, Jupiter, um, the cross of fortune here. I just feel like things are, you're aligning perfectly. Also, the colors of the chakra, this rainbow again. There's going to be people watching you here. There's a lot of eyes here, okay? But I feel like you are um, advancing here. Some type of an awakening. You may be going through a spiritual awakening, okay? So, yeah. So, let's get... Um, last card some messages from the ancients okay divination of the ancients for Taurus. and like comment subscribe tell me uh what is this awakening that you guys are going through and um let me know what type of feel what what do you guys go through when you're going through an awakening because we know that you know you go through many awakenings, okay? People kill me when they say, oh, when I had my my spiritual awakening, like, you constantly go through awakenings. Once you have gone through your first one, they happen all the time. You're evolving. It's called evolution, all right? But yeah, so tell me, what kind of things do you guys go through when you know that you're kind of awakening? Do you start, you start cutting people off or like, you know, um, you start changing your music does, does your diet change like what do y'all see what what things do you guys go through i would love to hear okay so let's see taurus what do they need to know what are they going through nature okay agnam nature all right so it's funny because um in the book you know this card talks about nature talking to you and we even got the forest right so nature um this could also be us moving into capricorn season soon but you know, it talks about the spirits of the trees and how the trees, you know, they talk to you, nature talks to you, and you're going to start noticing it even more that they're calling it onto you. 
Okay, you're going to be noticing it here. Yeah, footprints, direction. So you're walking in the right direction, okay? And you're going to be getting spiritual upgrades from these, you know, ancient, super ancients. I'm talking like, don't go before Egyptian, okay? This is energy that has been walking this earth forever, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Also, I've been getting a lot of downloads about, um, like, dinosaurs and um dragons and stuff if you guys have any information on that like those spirit guides have been coming to me lately so if you guys have any information on that please link it below i'm going go ahead and leave it here because that literally looks like a dinosaur like walking i don't know that's so crazy but i love you guys and yeah i'll catch you in the next video